Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special economic weather report brought to you in association with the BNZ. Today I want to have a look at John Key's tax plan and five reasons why I think this is a giant sidestep and not a step change in our economic recovery. Firstly, this set of tax proposals doesn't address a huge hole in our tax system. And this was identified by the Tax Working Group and actually talked about by John Key in his speech. There is $600 billion worth of property in New Zealand right now, which simply is not subject to the tax system. There's more than $200 billion, which is in residential property investment. There's no capital gains tax being paid on that effectively. And many people are using those property investments to reduce their personal income tax. Yet the proposals put forward by John Key only touch a very small part of it. He's proposing, essentially, to remove depreciation as a taxable expense on buildings. However, $1.3 billion of that will come from that proposal, and only $390 million of it will be imposed on residential property investors. Secondly, the plan for a GST hike simply won't work in terms of bringing in lots of extra money. Only $200 million net will come in, according to the Tax Working Group, after you've brought in compensation for people who are most affected by this change. And many of the extra people employed because of this will be bureaucrats in the IRD and the Ministry of Social Welfare. Thirdly, there's simply not enough dollars being raised in the tax package to provide any sort of meaningful tax cut. When you look at the combined impact of the depreciation change and the GST change, we're only looking at about $1.5 billion extra in revenue. Yet John Key said yesterday, after the speech, that he wanted to impose tax cuts of 3 to $4 billion. There's a $1.5 billion hole there. Also, this is going to be politically difficult for John Key, certainly now that people have discovered that before the election he ruled out a hike in the GST if, quote, he was half decent at managing the economy. And finally, it's just not broad enough. The whole point of this tax reform process was to come up with a way to broaden the taxes and flatten them so that people felt it was a fair system. A land tax would have done that, but John Key has ruled that out and said that it simply is not going to happen. A land tax which included the ability to defer the payment until the sale of the property and a high tax-free threshold would have worked yet John Key has ruled it out. I'm Bernard Hickey. It was five reasons why John Key's step change is actually just a giant sidestep.